In this video, I am going to talk about appendicectomy. Appendicectomy, which is nothing but uh, removal of the appendix, it is a surgical procedure. So, I am going to discuss about uh, uh, multiple choice question related discussion. We will go one by one, and this is the first question Which one is a muscle splitting incision? Option A, caucus incision, Rutherford Morrison incision. Option C, financial incision and option D, Lane's incision. Okay, so we will discuss one by one. First, what is this caucus incision? Caucus incision is an incision that you are going to put in the right subcostal region. That is 2 cm parallel and below to the right subcostal margin. Commonly useful for doing surgeries, cholecystectomy, CBD exploration and part of the liver surgeries okay that is the option one where you will cut all the muscles that is coming across your incision so this is caucus incision it is a muscle cutting incision next one Rutherford, Rutherford Morrison and uh, option D Lane's incision these two incisions are uh, I am going to discuss in the upcoming slides uh, option C that is financial incision is a transverse incision that you are going to put in the suprapubic region commonly useful in all gynecological surgeries there also you are going to cut the muscle so these two options ruled out and remaining Rutherford Morrison and Lenz so we are going to discuss that one okay in appendicectomy there are three incisions are there number one is the grid ion incision so what is the grid ion incision so first of all you should know the basic anatomy so this is umbilicus and this line is called spino umbilical line this line connecting the anterior superior iliac spine and umbilicus this is called spino umbilical line in this spino umbilical line medial two third and lateral one third you got a point that is called McBurney's point okay so what is grid ion incision and McBurney's incision which is nothing but you are going to make an incision through the McBurney's point perpendicular to the spino umbilical line so like this you are going to put this is called grid ion incision this incision is commonly useful for all uh, uh, appendicectomy procedure ok next incision is the Rutherford Morrison incision which is nothing but uh, muscle cutting incision so the grid ion incision is there you are going to split the muscle in Rutherford Morrison incision the same grid ion or McBurney's incision you are converting it to into the muscle cutting incision you will cut all the muscle like internal oblique and transverse abdominus muscle particularly you have to cut the muscle in the lateral aspect only not medial aspect so that is the Rutherford Morrison incision and third one is the Lane's incision so Lane's incision it is nothing but it is an 2 cm below the infra umbilical region you are going to make an incision traversing through the McBurney's point so this is also useful in case of appendicectomy and uh, mainly uh, for cosmetic purpose this is useful and this incision is a muscle splitting incision ok so this um, grid ion or McBurney's is muscle splitting uh, Rutherford Morrison is muscle cutting Lane's incision is muscle splitting incision ok so uh, these all the abdominal incisions I have put a separate video is there I will give you the link also in the description box you go and see that video that is all all the abdominal incision so I have just uh, enumerated and uh, described completely about abdominal incision so go and watch that video also ok so what is the answer for this question ok so obviously the answer for this question is the Lane's incision option D that is the Lane's incision is the answer because all other incisions are muscle cutting incision go to the second question the nerve commonly injured during McBurney's incision again this is also a straightforward question so no need to uh, no need of any explanation so the answer is ilio hypogastric no this is all straightforward anatomical question ok so this is straightforward no need of any explanation 
And third question, Gridiron incision becomes a Rutherford Morrison incision if it is extended by, just now I discussed, if it is extended by, by cutting the muscles laterally, cutting the muscles laterally, then that is called as Rutherford Morrison incision. Okay, so this is about the third, third question. Then fourth question, an appendicular fistula is least likely to heal if the stump was sutured with vicral. Okay, so there is no relation whether you are closing with vicral or chromic cat guide, most of the time you don't get anything fistula. Uh, and similarly the option C also, super added infection, that is not also going to uh, obstruct that uh, healing of the fistula. And this reason, the number two that is uh, B, okay, that is stenosis and narrowing of the sigma gland. Definitely it's going to affect the fistula, okay. So I will just simply put the picture. This is an abdomen. Suppose if patient has developed a fistula, a enterocutaneous fistula. That means uh, a fistula will be communicating from the skin to the intestine, okay. So this enterocutaneous that is communicating with the bowel. So this is ascending colon, transverse colon and sigmoid, descending colon and sigmoid colon. So what they are telling is in sigmoid colon if there is a narrowing or some obstruction is there. What will happen ultimately there will be stasis of the material and all these things again, again it will retro, retrograde manner it will go into the fistula. So once the fluid is coming through the fistula tract completely then there is less chances for healing of the fistula tract. So the answer is stenosis or narrowing of the sigmoid colon. Okay, the next question is uh, during appendectomy, if it is not, if it is uh, noticed that base of the appendix is inflamed, then further treatment is no appendectomy, no burying of stump, hemicolectomy, cecal resection. Okay, here the answer for this question is the no burying of the stump. Okay. So, there are some special circumstances are there uh, uh, during appendicectomy. Okay. So, that is also I have put in separate video appendectomy special circumstances. I will give the link also. So, go and see that video also because uh, I have given the entire explanation about that why you should not bury the stump uh, whenever the base of the appendix is inflamed. Okay. Thank you.